Hello. Uh, gosh, I haven't done it in a really long time. I know, right? Um, time to get back well, in the swing of things. It's very, very channel. Here. Hello. <laughs> I'm your friend Jared from Kate Wilkins. So you know how it works. No, I got, here, Josh, I got super confused because when I looked at the stream, uh, it was like several seconds behind me, and I'm used to it being oh, essentially yeah, yeah, like a yeah. video mirror. Okay, and it's still doing it. I can't look at it. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Oh, weird, yeah. Hello, I'm just gonna... I can't look at it. Uh, here, so, I mean, how much of it can you do, Michael? I mean, you know, uh, this is like your favorite however show, However right? you did it, you <laughs> stumbled bass backwards into Twitch's own brewing here, show. Here, here, you do the whole thing. Yeah, just guys, let's thing. just... Let, we can all leave. Uh, welcome to <laughs> Acquisitions Intoxicated. Um, Twitch's own brewing stream. Uh, you know, we're here to give you back what is already yours, the <laughs> art of brewing. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we, uh, we like to follow the hero's journey here. That's what we're going to do today. God, you really do want my favorite show. I told Kara last, last night, I was like, honey, I'm going to be on Acquisitions Intoxicated tomorrow. And she's like, Jerry's show? <laughs> but, like, <laughs> like, it's not... It's not a big deal. No, I mean, no, I, no. I said, we, we just do it in another part of the office. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but to me, I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm excited to be on the show yeah, today. I, I, I love it. Because when you're in our office, you like look over and you see on the TV. I mean, it looks very official. So yeah. you're here. You know yeah, what no, we know. Yeah, no, this is a shit show. <clears throat> I mean, well, you know what we know, which is that there is this spider cavern. Yeah, right. Right yeah. above us, stuffed with lights and strange organs. Right? Do you want your spot back? Yeah, yeah. Get the fuck over <laughs> here. Just, just so, a little too. God only knows what's going to happen. These cables are going to mate. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're all twisted. Um, also, a bunch of other stuff happened. I was not in here before, and it's damp. Like, in that a lot of me. in can, a lot listen, of places, it's damp. I may have arrived in a blue shirt, <laughs> not a gray shirt. Arrived. Like a superior Jerry. Whoa! Chasmo. Calling Disgusting. it. Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, so anyway, yes, everything that he said is true. Obviously, mm. uh, this is uh, Eric J. Benson. Oh, the, the, only, one, the only part that oh, you yeah. missed. My friend EJB, uh, you might know him as Eric J. Benson, Azerbaijan. Notorious Notorious so EJB. EJB. <laughs> How about Edge Benson? How about Edge Benson? Yeah. So these are the names. Now, uh, so we have a couple of different things that we're going to try. So are we making sodas? Today? Oh, yeah. Let's okay, get into this. I didn't, I, didn't see any, I didn't see a bag of grains. So that is not, yeah. we don't have to, I don't have to kneel before the device and worship it. I mean, you could kneel before us while we make soda. That's I mean, not going to happen. Just That's, saying. You're wrong. So, um, but there was an issue, as you might have seen before. Speaking of moisture, it did get, it did get very damp. Down by oh, is that yeah. what the towels are for? No, no, no. But did you see the we episode where a lot? Time. I would describe as a lot of water. Sure, I've flowing. seen every episode. I guess that's true. That's true. So a lot of moisture came out of the box, for lack of a better term, and uh, there was a toweling phase, yeah. as there often is. Mm. Um, but the main thing to take away is that Ritz, thank you so much. Now the main thing to take away from it is that it sounds like they were able to figure it out. There was some kind of a yeah. Uh, Ghostly and Mike and, and everybody got the Pico fixed. And you guys got it squared away? Next week we'll be back up and brewing. Okay, yeah, he, yeah, fingers he, crossed, he right? He hopes. Squared away. Yeah, I you, saw this. You should understand away. that fingers were crossed mm. in the ancient ritual, um, which is, of course, what we're about to undertake here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ancient ritual of soda making. <laughs> exactly. Passed down for millennia. Here, So, we are going to make soda. We, we, we described it a bunch of times. Like mm -hmm. we, we were, it was always on the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we could, we could go... Even harder than this, if we wanted to. Yeah, if we wanted, if we wanted to go bonks, we would make. We would basically take our simple syrup, mm -hmm. and then while we were making the simple syrup, we would be boiling something along. Yeah, with like that, our own. And then removing packs, it. Yeah. So if we wanted to make like uh, vanilla or something like that, like for a cream soda, we could do that. If we, if we you mean like to. with real vanilla, like you yeah. make your own oh raspberry, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. Instead of getting a little, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now at this point, this is just something that they've already done for us. But yeah. Michael, you should know that we have secured several flavors for your use. Okay. All right. So this is the orange. So get, pop the top on that. Yeah, these smell put wild. Your, put your uh, nose hole. Wow. Right. So that's Pungent? intense, right? So keep in mind that we're going to be using crazy a strong. syringe yeah. to put a very small amount of that in there. But what I think is interesting here, try this white cola. What I think is interesting is that... I don't like cola. Well, here, you're going to hate this. <laughs> it's really going to suck. It's strong. Yeah. yeah, I'm saying that like at a certain point of strength, you can tell. It's like, oh, it's made from Whoa. some kind of plant. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's I don't cool. like vanilla or cola a lot. Oh, here, then we'll keep those away from you. So hit the lemon lime. Oh yeah, dude, hit this, hit this LL. Whoa! 
That's, I like that the, raspberry. The lemon lime smells really good. So you don't like vanilla? So so cream soda is not for you? Uh -uh. That that's terrible. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. My favorite soda is Sprite. So yeah, perfect. Oh, I like the un cola. Well, here exactly. So here's the thing that we can do is that we can actually hit. We can make a triple threat citrus motherfucker. Oh, lemon orange. lime orange. Would that be good? This what, is what, what we're gonna find let's, out. Let's okay. test it out. It yeah. might not be good. All right. But but let's let's figure it out. Um, we also apparently the red raspberry is that sort smells of like really the, good. Whoa! I guess that just follows along. I mean, apparently Tony says that yeah, so red raspberry with a bunch of these other ones works. is good. But so like in, lemon lime and red raspberry is supposed to be. I was gonna primo. say instead of Jerry Ooh. picking for me, could I pick? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay. <laughs> no, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna do red raspberry. Yeah. Here, here. So, so, so and lemon lime. Yeah. So what's the ratio? So when you make soda, it's really super easy. It's um, two gallon or two cups of sugar per gallon of water. That you're going to make. Wow. So we're doing four gallons. So you're eight cups of sugar. But what you do beforehand is um, you make simple syrup. Yeah, exactly. So you so you might if you, you know, this is like a bar thing anyway, yeah, right? It'd yeah. be a normal thing to already have. What is simple syrup? It's water and sugar boiled together, and that's it. Yep. Oh. So you yeah. boil them, and and it's then not, they, it's not thick like syrup. No. Nope. Why do they call it <clears> syrup? Uh, well, it, the texture of it would yeah, be... It's a little, it's like sugar water. I mean, it's a little... Regular water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, so basically all you do to make soda is take a four-gallon batch. You're going to take two gallons of your simple syrup mm -hmm. and two gallons of regular water, mix it, and then pour in the, the bottle of extract. And okay. you're done. But, but that, that, that would be like for a full jug For of a full it. jug of it. So we can kind of hack this a little bit. I yeah. asked the guys at the brew store, and they're like... I'm like, is there any way we can taste this? They're like, we have no idea. So I'm like, oh, oh, what? Oh, because they work on, <laughs> yeah, because they work on the brew side, the yeah. wine side, right? So the only way I can, th I, I could think of doing it is taking some of the sugar oh, and oh, then mixing it with club soda. Visual ratio. And then adding a little bit of the flavor, and we can kind of get, oh, see what it tastes like, right? There. Okay. And you, uh, no, you have a carbonation gun. Yeah. Um, that you can use that you use for bottling, right? Yeah, totally. Could we use the carbonation? Could we use the carbonation gun to make? A fuck ton of, or, or basically a, a soda water on demand, basically. I guess. I don't oh, see why not. Kara's in the channel. She might get a vote on soda too. Oh yeah. If I'm bringing some soda home. Only if it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no. no Beckenbauer the carbonation station. <laughs> in my in my experience, uh, I have I usually use a cup of sugar mm -hmm. to a cup of water, yeah. and then boil that. But this you got this ratio from. Somewhere. And you're saying the it's two cups? It's double what he normally does? Two cups per gallon. So yeah, that makes sense. So he's, yeah. he's making he's making a much higher threshold here. So you're saying uh, half of this, half of that. Yeah, and then, and we then play a, around. And then, and then let's fuck around with how much we flavor. put in. Yeah. Okay. I love this. Yeah, it smells this, real good, right? It smells like um, the red icy. Yes. Yeah. And it probably is. It like probably that, is. That yeah. chemical compound. They actually is had a blueberry that. one too, and I was debating oh, getting really? that. They had blueberry and peach, and I'm like, yeah. that sounds pretty cool. <clears throat> but it's like with the other ones, like it's like even the lemon lime, it's like, ha! Huh! Like it gets to a certain point, and you're like, okay, well that's hardcore. It's too much. But that one I could smell. A that lot. actually yeah. smells exactly like the candy. Yeah. Right. My, my yeah. love for um, blueberry or, ra or raspberry slush puppies is yeah. real, and that that's what it. Smells like slush. Oh, that's right, slush remember puppies. Sl Fuck yeah, I remember it's, slush puppies. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like a, there's there are Slurpees. Yeah, right. Not, not the same thing. It's not the not same thing. Not the same thing. It's not the same. One of them has one of them has a dog. Rocky, thanks for the sub. Indeed. I'm guessing that's half and half. Okay, well here, I'll, I'll taste it and I'll tell you if it's good or not. Just a drink. Maybe maybe Straight stir it up a little bit. No, this will this will be this will be a proper vessel for soda. Okay. Okay. So, cool thing. Start adding a little. I mean, you probably only need a couple drops of each to, yeah, to, test, to test this, this is stuff out. Significantly less scientific than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, it's, it's more of an art than a science, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, you should love it. All right. Well, I'm going to start with the lemon lime. Mm -hmm. Rich oils. Now, put in. So, so, do it to taste, right? Yeah. So, put in a couple drops. Like two drops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a spoon or something? Well, uh, sure. I mean, one. Oh, God. Whoa, just no! A bunch in there. <laughs> <laughs> it came out really fast. Yeah. Here, rinse that puppy out. Yeah. And then we can go into the. 
Okay, so now you have, you're halfway there. So, so give that a, you stir it, you want to stir? Yeah. And then put it in your mouth. And let's see if you spurted, like, over much. So theoretically this could taste like a, like a Sprite. Yeah. Lemon lime and, and club soda? What is, not, is, what is that? I thought I was calling to make like soda. Well, the, no, there's there's simple syrup in there. Syrup, syrup. Yeah, here. I didn't think it was gonna be like a experiment, Mr. Science. We're doing on you. This is this is Mr. Back. Wizard. Mr. Wizard. Yeah, Jesus. That doesn't taste bad. <laughs> <laughs> tastes pretty good. Tastes pretty good. But here, so does it need more lemon or lemon lime, or is it like? No, it's pretty good. Yeah, here. So it's pretty. Yeah, with some raspberry. Yeah, yeah crown it. With, with red raspberries. With the same amount. Or, or... Now, you know, last time there was a thing and... Yeah, there you go. Just you dribble. Yeah, I just dribble it in. Yeah. And then expunge. Mm -hmm. You take that. Yeah. Take something with oh. yep. yeah. yep. I need to stir. We need our vessel over here. I, I would expect it to like turn red. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's just about the volume. But I mean, it's like this. Oh right, yeah. It's this seems this seems very red to me. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't turn this red. Yeah, I a mean, it, of... it's uh. Is it better? It's, it's sugar water. It, yeah. I like <laughs> I like sugar a lot. I like yeah. sugar. I like water. A lot of us do. Combination I like these flavors. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not bad. Here, I mean, let, let me try. Does it need more raspberry? No. Oh, hmm. It's a really nice little soda. <laughs> when the body, when the body receives sugar. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I would say that is, is nice. that it doesn't have like I like I just popped the top on a soda. It's not like right. that kind of carbonated. And that, that's going to change because we're not using the club soda to make the full batch. We're okay. going to put it in the keg and then hit it with <laughs> oh, no, no. carbon dioxide. Uh, okay. So so the the back half of this because we can make any of these ratios okay. for a full tank. The, j just like we use our Oh, we have the tank. We're going to yeah, make it. <laughs> just like we use um for the full kegs. Okay. We're going to put that in the cooler and then carbonate it like we do everything else. Oh, so right. we will, so we will actually have a tank of that. Okay. I mean, for us, it's basically about the ratio. I mean, how do we feel? I don't know how you how yeah. you determine that? So well, luckily, we have the these right here. We know what these mean per gallon. Sure. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put all those in here, um, with our regular water jugs. Okay. Okay. Did it clean? Yeah. Uh, it's very fresh. fresh. We are making sodas. Yeah. I just made red raspberry lemon lime soda. Exactly. And so I think that for our purpose, we might use, maybe we use this, but we use mm -hmm. half as much of the red raspberry. You think? Does, does, that, does this that tastes really combo? Good. Yeah. So I, I think we use half of the red raspberry yeah. in there along with this. The full, yeah. So, we, so when you, we the way the homebrew guys were it, yeah. saying it, you do half and half. But what we can do is if we want the lemon lime to be stronger. Yes. Half the lemon lime and then a quarter of the... Yeah, yeah. Or no. Three, yeah. three quarters lemon lime? One oh, quarter? Oh, oh and Maybe five. Like it's one bottle. Yeah, because it, it has to be one full bottle, right? Oh, yeah, right? perfect. Yeah, two do. halves. That's what we do. Make a, yeah. That's okay. one. Point one. All right. All right, here. So should we have him pour yeah. these things in here? Um, let's put the water or the simple syrup in first. Okay. Oh, boy. <clears throat> now, you, you got damp. Got moist. We weren't, even, we weren't even trying to do anything like this before, and you got wet... For real. Listen. So you're, so you're sometimes you you're just gotta get in the mud. You're enunciating a scenario. You want me to pour that in there? Well, you're the only you're the person only one tall, tall enough. enough. You yeah. could <laughs> look over here. Yeah, I, I guess I can. All right, so I'm gonna pour this into here. Oh, it's yep. gonna get moist. I mean, there's no funnel or anything. This is gonna go like boom, and it's gonna come everywhere. Listen, this is your challenge if you choose to accept it. Can you just put it on the ground? Yeah. I mean, that that's a possibility too. Yeah. I like the other way. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to go quick yep. to get it pouring fast. Right? Yeah, yeah. Are you bold enough? Yeah. Do you have gusts? Did you, you see that? Look at that! There wow. was not a drop! Mighty Mike, thank you so much. There was not a... There was not a drab! Rocky, funnels are for amateurs. Are you, are you losing control? No. <laughs> How did you... I don't know. It's like we set this up, we gave you an opportunity to fail. He did it the fucking second time! Incredible. But can you hear the sound here? Mm -hmm. 
Let me get hey, down monkey. close. Got up here. It's really satisfying. It really. Uh, oh yeah, to fill a vessel. Yeah. 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 I think we've been doing that for a while. Yeah, yeah. Shake it. Shake it at the end. If you shake it more than twice, you're just playing with yourself. Yep, it's true. Here, now. So then two. So now we mix the um, the extracts in. Okay. It's <laughs> almost bad. It's a little sticky. I guess it's simple syrup. All right, now. So three quarters of that of the lemon lime. Mm -hmm. Just like by eye. By eye. Yeah, or yeah. Nothing sure. bad will happen. You'll see. I mean, I guess we can't really go wrong. Then check it. Taste cooler. A little bit more. I can't see. It. Oh. Uh, there's a. Oh, there we go. Yeah, a little more. Touch. It's about a third. I don't know what you're looking at. Perfect. I'm, I'm looking good. at that, so yeah. All right, now put that much. Huh? Oh, yeah. Put a th put that much Here, hang on a second. of this in there? This yeah. This is a little bit too much. Huh? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. When I say too much, I mean not enough. Okay. Now, so take that yeah. oh. and put that much in there. You're saying put that much? Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we're good. All right, now put that on. <laughs> just, just, just because. <laughs> oh, here, here. So there's, there's, there's none of the regular water. We're gonna, we're gonna mix it all together and oh, then put mix. the water. Oh, here. So put this. You're gonna put this in on the top, mm -hmm. and then shake it. What's that? Here, this. You're gonna love this. <laughs> so that. Honestly, this is this is kind of a fun brewing thing. It just sits on like that. Yep. 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 It's like solid. A we're done. Basically. Basically. Just shake yep. It. No. Here. Put it in. Oh, what the hell? Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, and then it, yep. it yeah, like here. presses. Yeah. So, so, so this is the this is these are basically pressurized containers oh, for yeah. soda. Now here, so push this down. That's Ooh. how. That's how much. Wow. That's how sealed it is. Yeah. Because remember, we're going to be running pounds and pounds, like twenty-five pounds of pressure for the fast, right? Yeah. yeah. Thirty. So what do we do now? <clears throat> Just so shake now, pick it up and it. shake the fuck out of it. Just like, oh yeah, yeah. We're just so you can get, you can. <laughs> we're just mixing, right? Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is what we came for. Shake it for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally shake yeah. it. Yeah. Are, are, are you a bad enough dude to turn it upside down? Ooh. It all pours out. Some <laughs> 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 guys I had this terrible <laughs> vision. No, no, there were there were two drops, but that's actually from the very end when. Uh, there was something that came out of the thing. I assume it was yep. syrup. So you can um, relieve pressure just by pulling that thing. Okay. Great. Right. Okay. And oh, I see. Like, like if it, if it, if you wanted to like open this up and it was fully carbonated, yeah, yeah. yeah. you just yeah, because yeah, if you tried to open it the other way, that's that's a lot of pressure right. happening at once, right? So then just lift that up. And now it's soda. And uh, yeah, ah! no, 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 put this in your mouth. No. Here, it's so now, strong. Now we're gonna put in human water. This is just regular water. Yep. Yeah. This is not sugar water. Christ. There's been a lot of this. Yeah. It's a little moist. It's been one of those days. Here we go. This is <laughs> this is pro pro skills. It's frustrating. Are there things that you can't do? No. When it comes to hand-eye coordination, <laughs> I guess anything that doesn't have to do with hand-eye coordination. <laughs> Yeah. Really, I just pour in stuff. The mind. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness, that smells all right. Right? It okay. really does. Dude, this is the best part. So then we're gonna chill it, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna carbonate it. For how long? So that's the cool thing. There's two ways you can do this. Yeah. Um, if we wanted it really quick, you can carbonate, put the carbonation on, and literally sit there for 15 minutes and you can shake rock it, it, and it's done. I can't shake it for yeah. 15 minutes. But then, if not, you put it on 30 psi. And in 72, uh, three days, yeah. it's done. Oh, okay. So, so you can force carbonate, yep. yeah, which yeah. is higher, higher level carbonation, and you're fucking going nuts on it. Right. Or you just do it like we do for most of it, and we let wow, it Wow, that smells awesome. It really right. smells it so really good. It really does smell good. <laughs> but but that's, the, that's the thing. And there's, there's, there's conversations about like which one of them is a more, like it, it, if you can tell sure, between yeah. force carbonate and the other one, it's like, it's like, is it a smoother carbonation if it's allowed to go like the three days? But... In my experience, it's pretty good both ways. Okay. <clears throat> so this motherfucker just got to get thrown in our case. Yeah. 
and sit carbonated. For a few days. Exactly. And then all we'll do is hook it up to one of these taps, and then wow. you can you can have oh, soda. Yeah. God, it smells good. It smells it's, real good. It's also very. Cl- it's also really clear. Yeah. yeah. Damn, I want this radio like now. I know, I know. right here. We, 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 we have literally everything we need to force carbonate. Um, Actually, that's but, but, kind of funny. We could, but we literally could do that. But I think it's probably gonna yeah, 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 too totally. if we let it get really cold sure. in the tank over yeah. here, um, and then come back later or even next week. Oh well, yeah. Come back next week, pull a glass of it. Yes. Right? This sounds pretty good. Sounds we're, real good, yeah. We're sitting and drink this whole thing. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, exactly. Like no, it's sitting. really bad. Well, you, were, you were saying it's like, it's like if, you, if you drink soda, it's like, hey, that's a good soda. But if you make soda, then you see what is in soda. Right, 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 like, right. by volume. It was, it was a full bag of sugar. And I'm like, yeah. holy fuck. That you boiled <laughs> into a mystic liquid. Yeah. But whatever the ratio might have been... Um, for the for the syrup that you made, yeah, it definitely tasted correct, right? In the like it tasted good in there, and so I think the two jugs <laughs> of sugar, yeah, plus the rest of the water, um, I think this is actually going to be quite good. I'm excited. I, screw beer. We're just going to no, 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 soda exactly. Show well, from yeah, now really. <laughs> no, because we have to have it. It's like it's, it's, like, it's the fantasy, right? Yeah. It's like the it's like the brew pub fantasy. Right, right, it's right, like, right. We have to have the artisanal soda. <laughs> The craft soda, the yeah, yeah, have to have yeah. The, you, you have to have the craft soda uh, for the back end. So, yeah. So how do we make Volt or Voltage? Remember that Mountain Dew? Oh yeah, dude. This is how much pop you made here. Feel this. But that's how easy Jesus. it is to make soda, right? Like it takes two minutes. No, you can work out on yeah. that. For yeah, sure. yeah, right. <clears throat> and then, Burn and then off if all we that like sugar. it, if we like it, we can do an even like we can do like an upmarket version. But I mean, the truth is, it's like. We've tried to ply you. Are you saying upmarket, like make your own extracts? Exactly. I think that'd be, yeah. yeah. I'm not, it might not, it, it'd be like the blue raspberry syrup. It's yeah. like, maybe, it, maybe that's not something in nature. Maybe like, not. Maybe not. <gasps> yeah. Maybe it's wrong. Yeah. All right, you going to go draw? Yeah, I'm going to go draw. Cool. All right. Thanks, channel. <clears throat> well, here, do you want a sip of Ebb and Flow before you go? Oh, yeah. yeah where's Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> here, I'll tuck this in here real quick. Yeah. That's not going to last the next week's show. Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, because this is the thing. It's like one thing. It's like, okay, does, does somebody want to, hey, we put a bunch of sugar. We boiled some, In a glass. We, we boiled some grains, and then we, we, put a, we put a bunch of sugar, and then we let it rot in a very specific way. Do you want to drink that? Right. Compared to, hey, do you like fruit? <laughs> and sugar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the beer? That's like flow. What was it? it it's yeah, a it Schwartz up. beer. Ooh, oh, this is, so this is, so historically. Oh, God, yeah. Historically, Michael, when we have, so, so, so we, we've, tried, we've, we've tried, like, specifically to entice you. Yeah. A couple ways, like, by adding candy. Yeah. And, like, doing obvious dumb shit, right? right. But, <clears throat> uh, thanks, oh, it's Stringer, it's Stringer pulls. Laura from work. Um, what we have found, and this is, like, this, like, to me, this is incredibly funny. Hello, Jeff. <clears throat> what we have found is that what you like, like the beers that work for you, yeah. are just good beers. There's no trick. Mm-mm. There's no stunt involved. They're no. just classic oh, beer profiles mm-hmm. executed well. Yep. Uh, typically, traditionally German beers. Okay. Is that what this is? No. <clears throat> this is a stunt. No, I was just, you know, yeah. this is a stunt beer. This is something. We, this is an aggressive. <laughs> that smells good. <laughs> it's classified as yeah, a dark German lager. Exactly. So it's been resting for a while, um, a lagering. A good while. I know what mm-hmm. lagering means now. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I was going to say, see, he's a fan of the show. But um, Look at the fucking, here. Uh, I'm putting a, Ghost. Uh, they're small pores, but I'm putting a little bit of Jeez. head look on them. So look for at the, the head on top of this. This is a head retention. Look at this. <laughs> Did I sing to this one or what? Good God. Three, I need one more. Yeah, you do. Um, there's gonna, you're going to get a lot of chocolate and raisiny flavors. Like chocolate and fruit. It's like goobers, the beer. Yeah, yeah, yes. goobers. Yeah, it's a li- liquid goober. <laughs> but not like hoppy at all. It's going to be very. <clears throat> no, no, it's, it's going to be. Oh, it smells good. It does smell really good. Right. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I get the raisin or like a plum mm-hmm. prunish, and then yeah, we're gonna dark dark fruit. Be taken off the rest of the afternoon because. Oh yeah, is it, what's the ABV? Uh, that's a good question. Do you do you hear? <laughs> I know it's great. Watching the show. Whole, I'm not gonna say it's. Oh shit! Uh, 
seven percent, but it might be seven percent. Okay, so so we made or something. 6. 8. We made something that might be a little bit off style. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, that's good. Is it not supposed to be that high? No, not at all. Oh. No, <laughs> no. We have to say that. The well, yeah, normally the, a lager is an easy drinking. It's supposed to be five and five and a half ish. Four and a half to five. And oh a half. my god, that's really good. Yeah. Holy shit! I defy you to find seven percent. Say that doesn't taste. That doesn't like taste like seven percent. I defy you to find seven percent. It's, it's, it's right on here. the edge. Right. It's, it's right on the edge. Right. You can just there taste a little be. bit of that alcohol. This is delicious. Like what oh the hell? God, what a great color wow. too. Hmm. Color came out exactly like the projection. I'm sorry. Did you say something? I was I having did. too much fun with you this. You were having what? an experience. I can actually taste the chocolate in that one a little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And that has to do with um, it's just the chocolate. Well, chocolate, chocolate and black, malt, black, black and, and, and black and black malt. Yes, yeah, like an aftertaste is like I ate. Uh, you know what? Candy or something. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like you had eaten one. Yeah. In if the you, past. If you told me this was barrel aged, I would believe you. Mm. I would too. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go back and draw. <laughs> All right. See you, man. See you guys. But it's got kind of a, a woods earth. It does. I would say that it has a, it has a, there's a smoke character. Yeah, like, yeah. <clears throat> and I can tell you exactly why. Here, you look at the ingredients and tell me what you think. Uh, I know I'm, you know I'm, what I'm it paying is. too much attention. This is, this is a delight. I know. What do you think? Is it the Munich? No, no. the Munich is going to be a, the Munich, as you can see, is at six pounds is the, oh. is by far and away the I didn't look the at major the ancillary body. data. Exactly. What you're going to see here, let me move the uh, ding dong over here. Now, yeah. The chocolate malt is going to be like this too, mm -hmm. but black patent malt, I mean, this is a, this is grains reduced to carbon, basically. Yeah. Oh. Right? And so. Have we not used, have you guys not used that in any other recipe? We don't yet? use it a lot. Yeah. It's rare for us because generally speaking, if we offer a roasted malt like this, it'll be like a roasted barley, a roasted wheat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> If it comes down to a really something a, a really dark grain, generally our constituents are going to choose one of the caramel mm -hmm. uh, varieties to bring a dark color in, um, or they're going to choose the chocolate, right? They're going to choose chocolate and caramel over the roast character of the black patent malt, right? Right, Pure, purely by virtue of the fact that we operate a democratic brewery. Now. <clears throat> but but you can taste that in there. No, right? that smoke character. So that smoky character, this serious. If you had told me this was in like a a former yeah. whiskey exactly. barrel, yeah, yeah, like yeah, it's like barrel. Yeah. secondary. Now, the only thing missing is that alcohol sharpness that yeah, you right. get from a barrel from, from aged a bourbon barrel. Yeah, because from it, there's that really there's that edge. Yeah, from the whiskey, and, and right? it doesn't quite have it because your ABV is higher. It's there, and so it gives the illusion even more. It echoes it, right? Yeah. This is it's awesome. Reinforcing. Like wow. Just rock solid. Oh, that's really good. I'm glad I came out of my office for that. Yeah, no, Whoa. it was absolutely worth it. You might want to top I yourself just, up. I just put you on the screen, and I just wait until I hear Jeff. And when <laughs> yeah. I hear my name mentioned, then I get up and come in. And so that's that's how I know. No, that I is can't a, believe how gr just fantastic. That is, that is the flavor on this is winner. perfect. Look at the, um, the color. Here, so yeah, pull up that. Well done. Here, pull, yeah, it's I feel like right. I'm, I'm glad we could uh, provide got more numbers to crunch. a service mm -hmm, to you. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Um, you might want to get a little top up if you're heading back. Yeah. yeah. Um, These numbers will link up. Yeah, they, they won't number themselves. Oh, where's um, Dave? Dave would. We gotta get Dave like in here. Too. He would like this. He would like this too. So uh, highlight over the Urkel because that was. Oh yeah, this was the <clears> yeast. I think that this is the other missing piece. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Nice balance between hop, hops and malt. And remember, we didn't add a lot of hops in here for bittering. Mm -hmm. No, it no, was, no. It was, there, there isn't the hop character. It's just sauce. Yep. And so again, it's noble. It's going to be pretty gentle mm -hmm. in something like this. But I, it, it isn't really part of the profile. It no. just keeps it... it. It just does what hops in German beers do generally, yeah. which is... Police. Exactly, exactly. The sweetness, yeah, right. If, if, if that wasn't there... You would be getting simple syrup in your mouth, like that. That's all it would taste no, like. You but know? it is, it is somehow mysteriously at precisely the correct <laughs> threshold. Uh, Dan Barine, man, oh man, we would love to, we would love to offer it up to you. For Good sure, fucking lord. We would make sure. Yeah, it, Neil Gravy, Yeah, artificially barrel aged. Mm. Exactly right. Like if we were trying to simulate barrel aging, you would get there. 
with a hard roasted malt, mm -hmm. like uh, black malt, mm -hmm. um, and then you have the ABV. It can't be too much no. to mess it up, but it implies that it has been, you know, yeah. that, that it has been finished, right? Fuck, this is... It's perfect. I am delighted with this. It is perfect. Mr. Oh, Mason, was this the one? So this much. is the one we did with Dan, <clears throat> right? I think so. I, I think that's why Dan, he is... Dan's in the chat? Yeah, exactly. That's why he is expressing... Yeah. Um, a desire. Well, you, motherfucker, you know where we work. I mean, you could you could be here. I mean, in, in the right kind of traffic, you could be here in a half hour. You'd be here before the end of the show. Listen, we're um, not telling you what to do. Yeah, ex I am. You can just come over here, and then <laughs> we can get you a cup. It's ice cold. Uh, it has been babysat uh, with professional wisdom by the ghost. Um, it has been taken good care of, and it will take good care of you. Uh, it's a precious liquid. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. No, oh, oh, Fode, see, Fode, yeah. What was that? Well, Fode. Oh, you use dad voice, yeah, I, it's true. It's like, it's, like, it's like the Ben Jesuit. It's like I move into that. Yeah. Um, it has to do with where the words are placed mm -hmm. against the diaphragm. Um, it, 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 listen, I have a lot of experience getting compliance. Yeah. Uh, you know, with very, very little effort. Uh, just place the word in a specific place. Nevermore. We'll, we we will eventually get do some figure out something for East with Akant and the show That's or whatever. Be. Well, because the truth is, and anybody in the channel who knows, who's had a chance to uh, hang out at one of the really cool events, Clues oh, has God. put together. Yeah, Clues and St. Brian, everybody they do amazing. <sighs> the last one was especially good. It was the the um, the pork belly chili was back in effect. Yep. Um, Everybody's bringing bottles from bottles and cans. Every just clap all your hands. different places, yeah. But, but like from where, wherever they're from, yeah, something cool they want other people to try. That's over on the table. In addition to the fact that you know we're in a beer bar anyway. Yeah. Um, no, the the acquisitions intoxicated events, the drawn courier, as they say, mm. um, have been a real highlight of the last few shows for sure. Um, but Mike does not know. See, because dad voices can cancel each other out. Funk. That's how it works. <clears throat> now it's like crossing the streams almost or like yeah basically it's just the resonant frequency mm. it's like um it's like noise canceling headphones right yeah. it's just like it's just the counter wave uh no uh, i have to i have to use uh very different techniques uh to convince mike to do things um generally speaking uh, i just try not to convince him to do things unless i really 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 need it and then the request just comes at a novel time uh, oh, clues for sure. Yeah, those events are amazing. No, clues. it's exquisite. It's exquisite. Oh, so eight bit. No, you haven't. You haven't missed much. Um, all we've done so far is make four gallons of soda, which smells amazing. Oh, yeah, it's really, really good. It's That's a great good. combo. It's that raspberry right lemon lime. It's the right ratio. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, what I had in the what I had in the cup was about the same yeah. level as that, and you wouldn't want there because. It, it, it's just the raspberry show. That's the thing about their raspberry flavoring, I think. If it if they were even half and half, mm -hmm. it would be the raspberry show. And that's not what we want. That, yeah, I think you're right. It's think, just the raspberry, I think because... Is it an enhancer? Yeah. I think, that, I, I think that that's why the guidance that Anthony gave you mm. um, is basically like... When he talked about how it was good, he talked about how it was good with other things. Right. By itself... That might be cloying, actually. Could be, like yeah. A full red raspberry. I mean, it depends, soda. right? Because you because you go and get the um, Italian sodas and do a red raspberry, and that's delicious. That's true, right? Lot, so but it's like, you, but, but a lot of times you get the cream. It's true. Yeah. Like so, in that case, it's going to be like a texture thing, and yeah. then and then on a slush puppy or something like that. Usually, it's going to be a combo. It's going to be the blue and red, right? Dude, I have not even used the term. I forgot this was even a fucking. Word. I, I I didn't know if it was a, a, just an East Coast thing or if it had it was no, out here on the West no, Coast too. No, we had it. But, yeah. but, but that's because that's, all I've seen are the like the slush thing, and that just isn't. That's just it not depends, poppy it, it, it depends on where you. Yeah. It depends on where you live, I think. Yeah. So it's like in a smaller town, you don't have like you, like it isn't like the coastal. <laughs> yeah. You don't have like the hegemony. Yeah. Right. It's like Seattle has very very different things right, generally right, right. speaking than I see when I'm over in. Boston, like, but then I've seen some of those Boston things in smaller yeah, towns. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Where it's they weird. have an opportunity to get in, right. and that's true in beer too. Yeah, oh, because, totally. Because the beer case is always sold by volume. Yep. Right. Anyway, we could talk about it for a long time. Yeah. Uh, have we actually put a lambic together? Dovu wants to know if we've actually done a lambic on. Shit, you know yet. we haven't. We haven't. 
You know, should we do a Lambic today? We could. Yeah, the Lambic, I mean, that's like the spider web stuff in there, right? Mm. Like Lambic fermentation it's, it's, looks unpleasant. This will be something fun for Ghostly to clean up, I guess. Yeah. All right. Sorry, bro. Well, here, we haven't done it. And so, I mean, am, oh. I, am I incorrect? Are Lambics made... For some reason, I thought Lambics had a juice base. They kind of do. I mean, yes. Um, the funny thing is, is what there, we think of as Lambics... Green? There's grains, but there's also juice. Um, let's let's pull it up. Well, yeah, I mean, I only know like Lindemans, which I'm not even sure is legit. It's right? not. That's that's like the I don't want to say watered down version, but it's the more accessible version. Yeah, because it basically tastes like pop. Yeah, it's like a it's like a tangy soda. That's not a real true representation of the style. So is a lambic actually a like? It's more of a sour, isn't it? Yep. It's a Euro here we go European sour ale, um, moderately funky wild Belgian wheat beer. With some sourness. And is it is it is it time for us to make a true sour here on the Yeah, unmalted wheat, pilsner, and aged hops. So Ooh. so what are they doing with this juice? What are these motherfuckers up to? They're making a kind of beer wine or something? Like No. Oh. It's 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 not really juice, it's more um the the sour uh yeast that you put in. Hold on, that taste is completely from yeast? Well, it's yeast and you're going to put fruit in it, right, if you want. Oh, okay, okay. Like, if you want a, um, a raspberry lambic, right, you're throwing raspberries in that thing. I see, I see. But that's not the... the but it, the flavor, probably because it's so tart, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> the flavor, like, the the overriding experience of it, at least for me, is, is that of juice. Yeah. But it's not... A, but, but because it's, that's... Because it's that's just what, a trick. Yeah, because that's... Because we always drink Lindemans, right? Yeah. And that's not really the classification of the style interesting but fruit might be interesting oh in absolutely i'm 100 yeah 100 sure. yeah okay so but if we want a good hook i mean I, I feel, listen I like to we, this profile we need a hook right a mild citrus fruity aroma with smoky cigar like or cheesy aroma is or with are unflavorable what well, so other are are older ver yeah there older versions are commonly Fruity with aromas of apple or even honey. Well, here, listen, you motherfucker, you buried the lead. You got to go up a step. Look at this. Um, a decidedly sour aroma is often dominant in young examples, yep. but may become more subdued with age as it blends with aromas described as barnyard, earthy, goaty, goat as an adjective, people, goaty, oh. hey, horsey, but not horsey like, you know, to summon or you know invoke a horse horsey as an adjective and horse blanket i like that they have a distinction between horsey and horse blanket right it's like the oils that have come off the horse and just i like the older version better already mm. all right well let's all right okay here we you, go. and the thing is you're not a Big sour person, but I'm not. But let's go. But, let's but just, that's, let's just but, crank it out. But look, but that has happens. never, but that's never stopped me from trying a sour. Sure. I mean, I, I'm always down to clown, right? I mean, obviously, whoop whoop. But what I'm saying is that I think that it'd be interesting to jump in there and make something because I mean, they love it when we do things oh, yeah. that I don't like. On the show, I'm happy to it's, it's, provide yeah, that. It's, it's a weird. <clears throat> oh god! I don't, I don't even think it's that weird. I mean, people have been teasing me my entire life because it's such a delight. What's okay? Because, because there's so much. Commit to the bit. Because the reaction is so much to enjoy. God, yeah, this is like a uh, majesty. This is basically just a coriander beer. Yeah. So, so we've done coriander in terms of like the copper and the uh, coriander seed, seed, yeah. Like that orange flavor you can get out of there, like you see in Blue Moon. This is gonna be a sassiness. This is more about that. This is, you know, this is this is the gatehouse, mm -hmm. right? I mean, this is this is the carriage house. Mm -hmm. I like right? that. All right, let's sign in. I think it's good. I can't get over this fucking beer right now. Well, yeah. And you don't have to. I'm going to get some soon. All right. I have done a test out there. Oh, look at that. Uh, does this work? Historically, it's been it's been goosed sometimes. Uh, apparently, yes, it does. Okay. Solid. That's what we're looking for. Now, I, I, only, I did this. <laughs> Spidey! All right. <clears throat> Here, now, I did this for a very specific reason. You know that I can see all your handles. 
right? You know that if you type a two in there, we're looking at you. Under Dogag. Wow. At long last. <laughs> Motherfucker. At two under Dogag. Mm. Now, um, so we got the theme. We got the theme. This is a rough place. This is a place where bacteria holds sway. Listen, I'm going to just sit here and Kingdoms enjoy this beer the whole time. Bacteria. You can do whatever you want. Absolutely. Kingdoms of Kingdoms bacteria. Kingdoms of bacteria. That's it. <laughs> This is like a whole campaign. <laughs> cheesy. What are the, what's the, the kingdoms of like, like cheesy, goaty, woof, woof. All right, here. So okay, we're so we're we, gonna style. I mean, honestly, uh, you know, what do we? What we need now is it's purely about what do we express inside this style, because the hook is too good. So do if we we're, want? If, to, we're gonna, if we're gonna move into this horse realm, right? We have to lean in. Now we now it's just a matter of everything that we do um, to get as close to that as possible. And some of, and some of it's going to be narrative, obviously. So do we want to think first about like what fruit flavor? Do we want to go fruity with it or well, unfruity? Or is, like, that, is that the choice? No, is I that mean, the first matrix? No, no. I mean, the, the, the truth is, like any of these, the style is really, it's, it's like when you have a Brett. Mm -hmm. The style is almost completely defined in terms of the experience of drinking it. Mm -hmm. It's almost completely defined by the yeast. Right. So it's like, we're just going to try to put together something. We're, we're going to do what we can. We're going we're gonna to engage in noble failure. Because no matter what delights we endeavor to create, eventually this primordial annihilator um, will destroy it. Yeah. Right? And we just, we have to accept that. There's a nobility in that. Right. Right? So here. Uh, we're just going to try to do the best we can. Yeah. This is just a noble effort that we're undertaking. Um, but we still need all the traditional questions. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah. So let me Let's, pull up Tomboy Notes. Let me, let me get us a... Oh, no. I don't want to add style. I want to add a recipe. Okay. Man, so I backed up all the recipes just in case. Oh, because Beersmith 3 has cloud, right? Yep. Nice. And it's it's a crisp file. I mean, it's, it it's plump? pretty plump. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Well, and look, and it's not like... It's not like these beers are okay. No, oh, the beers are great. Right? Like, they are weirdly good. I mean, we were thinking about it when we were looking at the um, the back end, sort of, for the, the Pico. Because you can see where people are brewing anywhere. It's anonymized, but if you look at the map, you used to be able to see basically every uh, every device that was currently active, connected to the internet, yep. and and working. I mean, this has to be like when we're like, when we're not between shows or anything. Like when we're actually like going hard mm -hmm. in the middle of back half of the year. This has to be the most productive. Oh yeah, micro brewery. That, that, there, that's right? on the, yeah. They must be getting so much data from our. This yeah. show? Yeah, they are harvesting it for sure. Uh, so IBU, so where, where do you want to start? So let's hit them with the ABV. So traditionally, it's between five and six and a half. So what do we, when we think of coriander. Yeah, and this is, I mean, coriander has had a, a, a couple a iterations, right? Yeah. Arc, but we are talking about, this is coriander. The first. Thematically. This is at home. Yeah. We're talking about, uh, this was before everything was the assembled. Gate, the gatehouse, yeah. before or after, either side yeah. is fine. But we're talking about coriander in her natural habitat. Um, I mean, I don't think in the in the course of the, they've cleaned that gatehouse once mm -hmm. in three years of play. So keep in mind that you know it's they've never gone in there. They've never tried to take good care of it. Well, that's great because it's a lot of wild bacteria. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, so if we go five, six, seven. Oh, okay. You're thinking about popping, you know, popping just, the top a little? A little, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it's just going to be, uh, there we go. It took it a second. <laughs> Between myself, Pico was keeping track of all the locations of their devices in real time. Talk about big bruiser. But it's, it's, it's honestly, between myself, it's honestly a delight. Because it also says, like, yeah. what they're brewing. And a lot of, what's, what's interesting to me is that there's a lot of people that use their Picos. Mm -hmm. Um, it's seemingly almost exclusively with kits. Oh yeah, they grab the kit, they grab a Pico pack, mm -hmm. you know, from 
Pico Brew. Because it's and, so and, easy, right? Exactly, and that's how they do it. But they have a bunch of licensed Pico packs now, mm -hmm. too. Yep. <clears throat> you know, back in the day, we had we had considered like trying to do acquisitions intoxicated brew packs. We can, I mean, we still can. Them. We just and, but now now their their brewing line includes like the original Zymatic, mm -hmm. the C, the Pro, and I think it's more appropriate if we did it now. Yeah, because with the C, you can make your own. Exactly, you can do the custom pack where you couldn't or, three years ago. You couldn't do that exactly, and so you can you so you could obviously just sort of reverse engineer it. Yeah, do their ratios and stuff yeah. from what we put together on the stream, but it might be handy if somebody literally wants to just push a button totally and have it come in. So we should just we should just talk to our dude. Yeah, Greg War. Interesting. There's a little bit of a knife fight between. Five and six here. I think that's kind of neat. I mean, either one of these is fine. I think five is a young coriander. Yeah, young. There we go. Yeah. So we're we're positioning it in time. Oh no. No, it's still what? It's still rough. It's still rough. Yeah, look at that wild. fight. It's a knife fight. Oh yeah. See, a Marnie. I like that. The idea that coriander is is uh, weak, uh, so that the beer has to sort of be. Uh, down a little ah, bit. That is good. Yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> Rickard's Kickstarter Act Intoxicated Recipe Book. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be hard. I mean, the truth is, I mean, we just we get a hold of Amy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she is. The it would be designer. easy piece. Yeah, Beckenbauer, the article descriptions of your Pico packs, of course. Oh, I mean, God. Are you kidding fantasy, me? The fantasy for us, yeah. uh, the truth is, is that offering Pico packs and then doing the book, those aren't necessarily. Those don't have to be two separate things. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not uh, mutually exclusive at all. Some people are going to want to do the pack. Some people are going to want to brew. Uh, oh, right, sure, you know, yeah. Their own custom way, or just recreate it. In either case, they would both benefit from the story and uh, like game data. The fantasy for us, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we've talked about it on here, or maybe this is just something we talk about when we're drunk at night, um, playing options. playing war games. Yeah. Um, but no, we're our. One of our fantasies is to include, along with the recipes, essentially the yeah, this is the item, the the um, an in-game ability. If you drink the exactly in-game rules, yeah, for the beers when consumed as potions. Yep. Right. So dorky, but so dorky, but best. so fun. Yeah. Right. Look, it's five. That's, Ooh, that's awesome. what happened. I think it's a good idea. No, yeah. <clears throat> and I get that. The idea is that it can't be strong because it's only a horse-style pull creature. Barely a horse. Barely a horse. Um, all right. So color, traditionally between three and seven SRM. So very which light is, in color. That's fucked. Which it, is especially if you compare that to the Lindemann stuff. Right. Exactly. It looks like wine. Yeah. It's completely opaque mm -hmm. and red. Yeah. So let's check this scale out. I mean, which is cool because it goes in line with coriander, well, right? It, it, exactly. And then of course that's the this is the SRM mm -hmm. uh, by way of. Just the raw ingredients. Yeah. But the, the truth is, is that we can do whatever we want to with this. And then any fruit additions are obviously going to change. They're the going to well. manipulate it a little bit. But I mean, maybe not. Maybe if we do apples, probably not going to change that much. Apples, very historically, a very horsey option. Right. So there's a kind of a couple cool ways we can go. Exactly. Apples, peach. So five, you're saying it's... Anyway, it's between three and seven. Three? Yeah. So very light, which if, if we're going in a fruit... Um, direction that might be a better way to go because it gives it a little bit of room to darken up exactly and so i'm going to give you a Ooh, range yeah, uh, uh, we'll put it up to 10 because 10 i is think it's cool not, it's not a lot i'm just saying no but golden in color you i, I, I want to give you the the granularity and the resolution to choose your hay color mm -hmm. uh in this barn Frank Bauer, no, uh, low um, SRM doesn't mean it has to be clear. Clear, clear beer is really just a um, it's filtered. It's filtered, and that's really a marketing thing. Really good beers aren't filtered. No, you know? all, yeah, almost. We've just been kind of groomed to think, oh, it's clear, so it's better. Well, yeah, it's crisp, yeah. right? Because but a, a beer can be crisp, yeah, and, and opaque, yeah, exactly, right, and still good. Yep. Which is sort of what I like about hazy, just as a philosophical thing. Yeah. Because. It doesn't. I mean, it's obviously completely like like a milkshake. Right. Um, it's com You can't see through it at all. It doesn't actually affect. That's not really a flavor note. That's just the color that it happens to be, yeah. and how much it absorbs light. <laughs> right. Exactly. 
Uh, they want it. They want it way. way Whoa! Down. Pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. No, that that's. I think that's got to be the first that we've done here. Although I suspect that yeah, I suspect that Goza was pretty low too. It was low, but I don't think it was that low. I think this is the low. This is the lowest we've probably ever gone. Option three isn't working. Are people actually hitting three? Oh shit! Sorry. What'd you do? Nice nah. One. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Here, here, here. here. Sorry, everybody. Um, SRM. No. Watch this. I. It's like as soon as I saw it, I could hear Josh's voice in my mind, and then I heard it in real life mm -hmm. from the booth. That's how shameful. Mm, it's understandable. No, it's a deeply shameful process. Do you uh, need a top off of this delicious? Absolutely, that I do. We have? Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna see where it where it goes when it's uh, warmer. More of a real ale. Uh, it goes better. It's that Urkel. I That's Urkel that, some. The yeast. That's Stephen I think Urkel. Is, it is. It's got a little. It has a little wild bite in it. You think? At when it's warmer, it does, yeah. Seven, interesting, okay. Yeah, PMR, it's, uh, it's my own fault. It's my own fault. <laughs> exactly right, Proto. Yeah, I mean, think about all the soda that I drank before. <laughs> I'm out of my mind. Um, but man, that's that is a heavy. So that that we should do that more often. What? Well, it's it's easy to put together the batches of soda. Oh yeah, you can you can have soda on tap all the time. But it's so soda easy. and coffee, like we put that coffee to use. Yeah. Like we we gutted that tank. Um, it was really really good coffee because. We can roast, the, we can put a pound of that together at home, mm -hmm. right? And it's really, really solid stuff. And then you cold brew it in this machine. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, Ooh, well, well, yeah, and then you nitro, and then you nitro carbonate it. So, but I mean, the issue, the only issue that we had was that we didn't understand the back end of that in terms of like how you, in terms of how you nitro carbonate. Oh coffee. yeah, absolutely. I thought that it was gonna, I thought that it was more like, I, I had misconceptions about how stout faucets work. Mm -hmm. I thought that that texture was a function of it being force pressurized through the nozzle. That nozzle creates- Not the case, yeah. That nozzle creates that distinctive head that mm -hmm. you see on a Guinness, yep. right? But that's not what's actually responsible for the rest of it. It's a traditional, I mean, it's nitrogenation, I guess, instead right, of carbonation, right. right? But the rest of it is actually the same process that you'd use for any other beer. Yep. Um, so that's why I was confused about it at first. But the truth is, is I bet you can force, you can force the nitrogen a similar way, but it doesn't really like to go in. No, it actually just it, takes it kind more of, time. Yeah. It just takes more time. <clears throat> Seven. Oh, Dova. Uh, so the, the the studio became extremely damp in a couple of different ways mm -hmm. uh, when. Uh, Edge Benson got here, he was wearing a different shirt. Yeah. And I saw him out in the kitchen, thoroughly moistened. Um, it was it, a good time. Was it club soda? It, yeah, it totally club soda. Was it? <laughs> I don't want the ambiguity there. Yeah, I mean, it was club soda. Okay. A lot of club soda, news. like but, all over the... But then also the chair? I don't know, things happened. Also wet? I don't know. Uh, we're looking good here at 7. Awesome. Okay, mm -hmm. great color. All right, so let's talk about IBUs. This is really fun because it can go from zero to ten. Oh gosh. Okay, so 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 I, I wasn't wrong. No, you're not yet. Virtually totally. the entire flavor profile of this it is, is just all grains and it's fruit. It's just from grains and yep. fruit. Okay. Well, if it's from the yeast, going nuts, right? What are these wild ass strains? All right. So the Ibu. I agree, Sauce Fire. It was the shirt. And solid. it was actually, I don't have it here, but it was a two beers brewing, Dan. All right. No, so it we really could, was. Yeah. Um, so we could, I mean, zero is, uh, you know, a choice in this one. 
If we I've don't never, want, I we mean, we have never had that before. But I'm not even mad at it. Yeah. Let's try it, right? Because the bitterness or like the, you know, like the bitter, like tangy character. Mm-hmm. That's going to be there from the fruit and the yeast. Anyway. Yeah, and because the hop is not really the function. No, and remember the, the ingredients we're going to be using um, is nothing like this Schwartz beer. Well, oh. kind of, re- yeah. yeah, really nothing like it. We're going to be using un, uh, unmalted wheat, Pilsner malt, so very oh, yes. clean oh, and crisp. crisp. They're, they're crisp right out the gate. Yeah, right? exactly. So this is up to 10? Up to 10. This is what I want to know. Because there's no hops back here. No. Hops don't grow around it. Hops grow on the house itself. They exactly. grow on the drawn courier. Right. They grow up, uh, up the door. Yep. Uh, up the over window. to the... But there are no hops over there. Mm-hmm. And so it could be that this is... That... Basically, just that. feed the occasional grain or mm-hmm. seed that finds its way. Yeah. Right. Is there an audio issue? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Good. Beckenbauer, it's good to be back. Mm. So that's that's good. Uh, I well, think, yeah, I Dova, think here, here, so, so all, all we were going into there was the idea that um, certainly in the canonical descriptions of the Drawn mm-hmm. Courtier, there are hops that grow up. I mean, mm-hmm. When we did the um, Red Larch Regular, yep. uh, that's sort of defined that was the by point. a single hop, yeah. and it's just what happens to grow and be tucked and pulled away from well, the main window. She could, she could get at it because it was that's how she made that it's beer. It's easy to get it. Yeah, exactly. Easy it, to get that. It's, it's a, it's profa. It's basically it's something they offer mm-hmm. um, uh, at the Drawn Courtier. It is a hyper every aspect of that beer. I would love to redo that one yeah. because that's one of our first. That was a really good beer. I'd like to hit back on that one, but but basically with uh, it's just deeply pragmatic. Like mm-hmm. everything about that was pragmatic. But we've never described a situation where this is over here in the barn. The barn is its own, right? Uh, for lack of a better term, you know, profile. Um, it is perfectly legitimate, at least to me, if there isn't, if it has a zero, yeah. if there's no hop in there. No. Right? It, 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 the, the hops wouldn't gr- encroach upon that hut Mm-mm. because of the stench coming out of no, it. No, <laughs> I think it's legitimate. I think that it is legit. All right. All right. So this is our first, it's, it's, it's like a Groot, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's, this is our first uh, hop-free... Sinair. You know what? You know what would be really interesting is that if we expose if we expose Michael to this, right? Yeah. Because it's going to have a different profile, but it doesn't lie to you about what it is. No, 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 totally not. And the truth is, is that he really enjoys a lot of stuff that I would like. Classic styles, definitely. Mm-hmm. But he enjoys things that, like, because he he's down for the occasional sour type beer. Oh yeah. In a way that I can't get to. Right. Right. I don't have access to it. All right, so we have our full profile here. For IBUs, that's just a zero. So a couple cool things we can do. Um, let's first talk about the base malt that we're, we're going to use. Exactly. Because that's pretty much, we're not going to go, if we the add a second. Yeah. Given the, you know, the, it's, it's like a, the frames around a comic, right? Mm-hmm. Given the frames. We can't go too crazy. The SRM seven. No, the 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 we could put in a carapils maybe, if we wanted as a as a yeah. uh, secondary grain. Yeah, to get a little bit of, to get a little bit of body. Right. A little more sugar. Um. But, uh. So first off, we want to talk about: Do we want to put some unmalted wheat in there? Usually, it goes thirty to forty percent, or just go full pilsner. Unmalted wheat. Yeah. So it's gonna be. It's gonna give us a, a little sweeter of a flavor. Because yeah. it's going to give us that weedy, nice wheat flavor yeah, that, that we would get. That might be really interesting and simple. Yeah. So our question is, do we want to put wheat in the, uh, a wheat in this or keep it very dry, cre- uh, clean, and uh, crisp and just use pills? Yeah, so the, the wheat is just going to give it a different body, mm-hmm. right? So 
So here we go. Uh, Pilsner, we sort of know about. I mean, everybody knows about it. If yep. you've ever had a Pilsner, you know exactly what exactly. the result is going to be. Those classic German lagers, I mean. Yeah, they're crystal clear. Yep. Um, they are an accompaniment. There's not a lot of a statement being made. No. Um, but simplicity is is definitely a virtue. I mean, there was a reason for these beers. It was, you know, we want something dry, clean, there and crisp a after time. a long day of I, work, I, right? Like, I do not want such a thing perhaps in the season that we're in. No. But there is a time of year where that's really nice. No. And yeah. then, I, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure that I really, really respected the style until uh, Obeck. Yeah. Obeck changed everything. And actually, Obeck kind of influenced it, this beer yeah. because of the Urkel and everything. Yeah, Because that would. Urkel is a Czech it, it, uh, Yeah, exactly. And so we, we've played around with, a couple times we've tried to sort of reach out and get... You know, try to access like their really interesting approach to very very simple beers. Yeah, yeah. But there's you know, there's a virtue in that too. Um, now see that they, they, they're down for this wheat. Let's give it to them. Beckenbauer, that's a good call. We could put Ooh, oats in there. Oats. See now, Beckenbauer, that's perfect because we're moving into that horsey realm. Yeah. Horses and oats. That's a classic combination. The carrot idea. Ooh. Carrot. Ghostly, I'm, I'm, I'm vetoing that right away. Carrots are the work of the devil. For they do grow underground. Yeah. They're horrible and they should not exist. We can, we can get into a horsey realm with apples, I think. Yeah. Um, but no, unmalted wheat is a winner. Cool. That's going to be a great base. Yeah, you would juice a carrot and add that to it for some of the body, but... Let's get there with the apples. I mean, oh, you know what the, tr the truth is? Is that if we're wise, we'll leave that up to the channel. Right? Mm hmm All right, unmalted wheat. Ooh, here's a good question. Yeah. We've never really discussed this too much. Do we want to go with a Belgian pil uh, Pilsner malt or a German Pilsner malt? German is going to be more clean and crisp, where the Belgian is going to be sweeter. Let's try it. We've actually never done a, a vote on like splitting the actual the a, there. a single grain. So yeah, so if we, I mean, German, the clean and crisp would be your, uh, as everybody was saying in the chat, would probably be more like a hay, like a horse hay, mm -hmm. you know, type of thing where the Belgian is going to be sweeter and be more of uh, apples. Yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> the truth is that once, once this yeast gets done with it, mm -hmm. Graham Baxter, like, yeah, it's, sweet is not going to be our concern. It's, it, it's not like um, cloyingly sweet. The difference between German and Belgian isn't cloyingly sweet. It's just it's kind of splitting, splitting hairs. Yeah, splitting horse hairs. Yeah. Hey, Branish, you're not wrong. Yeah. Hay has a um, has historically been associated with the, with the uh, horse, for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, because because the whole idea here is that it's going to be in that lambic zone. Uh, Graham, and so because it, it sits there, there's a lot of, uh, frankly, odd uh, bitter and sour flavors mm -hmm. that are going to be the result of the fermentation on this. So we're good. They want the Belgian. Cool. Let's give it to them. Belgian going to give it to them. But they can't get it on their own. Oh, well, sure. Oh, uh, an Arston. We did indeed have soda. In fact, I have the remainder of the soda here. Where are we going for uh, ABV on this one? That's going to be really fucking good. I know. I'm excited for this God, soda. God, that's going to be good. The smell coming out of that keg was amazing. It's true. Uh, no, so an Arston, we put together a blend of lemon lime and red raspberry flavor uh, at functionally a three to one ratio. Yeah. Actually, I, I want to see what a, just a straight lemon lime one is too. Well, there's, we can make as much pop as we want to. Like that—that's not—that's not our challenge yeah, in this life. I mean, here's the thing: we uh, we still have like five more bottles of this stuff hanging out over here. Oh yeah, 
Oh, and, and we didn't even get any crazy stuff. No. And he didn't want the white cola. Yeah. Which means that we can put together Crystal Pepsi A raspberry variant. Yeah. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. Thank you, 1990. Well, I, my son found a commercial for Crystal Pepsi online. And he's, he's, he just, he wants me to reveal all. And he's like, God, it looks so gross. I'm like, it doesn't look like, it looks clear. Yeah, it looks, clear. it's the same what are you thing. talking about? Yeah. It's at first, and also, Crystal Pepsi was rad. Yeah, it I'm was not the even best. Gonna, like literally. I'm rad. not going to justify my choice of yeah, Pepsi exactly. color. You were there. Yeah, that's what I told you. You were there, son. <laughs> you don't know about it. All right. Uh, so we have we have a we have a pretty what was solid the, little grain build. Here. What was the ABV we were going for? Anybody the ABV know? on this bad boy, remember, mm -hmm. is five because right, coriander okay. is a weak horse. So we want to keep the wheat at like thirty to forty percent. So yeah. what we'll do is we'll just add a little bit more wheat. And then a little bit more grains. Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, we Who could, did that? Dude, why not? Mad Dog. Mad Bravo. Dog, we could make Crystal Pepsi with ease. But add a little bit of red raspberry in there no, no, for no. the eyes. Blue raspberry, my friend. Next, next time you're out getting some stuff, yeah. get a hold of some blue raspberry yeah. flavor. We will put the white cola... Well, we'll do half and half white cola and blue raspberry, and we'll and we will make Crystal Pepsi. Yeah. This, this is the world we live in. Oh yeah, why when and, and why not some edible right? glitter? Right, we still have it. I think edible, it's yeah, still edible glitter. Down here. Edible glitter bewitches. It's right. I think it, I think we have some. We did have some. Well, you know, someone stole the glitter. It's fine. It's over there. Someone did it. Yep, that's the main thing. I, I approve of it. Uh, they're vile. Now. Uh, so what's next? So we have we have kind of a so uh, weedy thing going on here. We could put carapils in this if we wanted to to add a little bit more caramel flavor or caramel flavor and a little bit more head retention, if you want. No oats don't really. But, uh, oats is the other other oat, flip side of this. I think oat is what we want. I mean, and I think oat horsey. is horsey. Yeah, it's thoroughly horsey. But what's the SRM of an oat? Nil. It's nothing, right? Yeah, let's check it out. Because if you're talking about head retention, oats are the fucking champion. One. One? Yeah, oats are the champion of... Uh... Now, the only question is, do you use the malted oat or the flaked oat? I think... Right? Huh. So here's, here's the cool thing, the uh, really cool difference. Um, the malted oats is going to give us chill haze. What chill haze is, is proteins that build up in the beer. So when it's cold, it's um, okay. not opaque. Yeah. So do we want this to be a clear beer or do we want it to be opaque? Interesting. So. Also, this is definitely 7%. Throwing that little chestnut out there. So there's a couple of oat options for you. I mean, they have to be in there. Oh, but yeah, I mean... Ooh, apples and oats, that's... This is, this is... Neon, that's this is gonna awesome be a food. idea. We are making a food. I love this. This is a delight. No, barley, obviously barley has got incredible naming potential. Matty D's. Well, we did the one barley a horse. We, right? we, we definitely did, did barley that, a yeah. horse. I mean, we we got that one. I mean, that's that's the issue. It's like once the show has been going on for long enough. I mean, we're gonna hit that name repetition right. thing. It's like when I go into the database to name a strip, and I've got oh, geez, yeah, twenty one well, years of thirty five hundred comics yeah. or some shit. It's like yes, it's possible to get in there. You get into these Simpson problems. <laughs> they're they're looking for the flake. They they. I think it's cool. Far, yeah. They're not interested in the haze. Although hazy is. It's coming up, you know. Yeah, barley a horse is one of our classic. Yeah, that was uh, a great beverages. One. God, that was one of the first few beers we did. I think was barley a horse, wasn't it? It's from way back, yeah. for sure. Cornelius, Thanks, Cornelius, go malted. I'm putting the money in. I mean, I can see that. I appreciate it. So right now, I mean, you can see that those percentages. It looks to me like malted is not going to pull it out. That's fine. Barn juice. Josh, you f I see that vote. 
He's reaching in. Yeah. He's got he's got his hand in the ballot he's, box. He, you know, he's a he's a troublemaker. <sighs> he's rough. He's a tampering okay. wizard back there. Okay. Everybody can see that it's 50-50 now, right? All right, here. So I'm my finger is poised <laughs> over the pole. Unbridled joy. It's not time for the names, you goofs. Thank you, Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer's got, got the. We got to police him. No, it's malted. Oh, it ran away with it at the end. Oh, okay. Interesting. A very, very timely vote from Cornelius. We are going to put just a little bit, maybe four percent in the, or four, uh, you know, maybe a. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. So how are we going to get? I mean, how are we even going to get the color? Our color was only three, wasn't it? Or no? Seven. Oh, seven. Okay. Cool. So what we'll do is we will just add a little bit of crystal. And it's not going to take a lot. No, no. It, it's just going to goose it down. It, that's, that's barely going to be enough to yep. uh, change the flavor even. It won't. So what we'll do... We don't need that. Just a tiny amount. Yeah. There we go. You're there. Interesting. Look at that color. It's, it, it's, if we're doing it right, it should be a little sickly. Right? It should be a little wah, wah. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. All right. So ABV at five, yep. SRM at seven, IBU at zero. I love what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. So Remember, the, if we do add apple or something, that might darken it just a little a bit. A little bit, not but, but not by much. Yeah. Um, so now we're moving into the, are we moving into the fruit realms? Yeah. What Since there's no hop. Yeah. What fruit do we want to put in here? Is it raspberry, apple, peach? Are there any other raisin? Oh, like we could do raisin? Raisin raisin is definitely in that oat right? angle as well, right? Gosh, so with apple, this is probably sliced apple. Yeah, probably. Right? Totally. Oh god, sterilized. what kind of apple? Right? Like add it in. Honey yeah. crisp, golden. That's true, actually. Um, apple is so broad. And people were already talking about oh, oats apple and raisin. apples. Interesting. Yeah, see now you're talking here. So we'll, Fuck that. Here, here's what we're gonna do. Um, we'll have a raisin option after this. Mm -hmm. For now, let's talk about what apple we kind want of apples. Here. Yeah, yeah, totally. right. Uh, Granny Smith. Granny Smith. Macintosh is a great one. I support that. Uh, me too. Um, here, these. This Honey is, Crisp is another awesome one. Here, to, to me, to me, down to this, this is probably what we got here. Oh yeah. Oh Fuji. I don't even think about Fuji. Yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, this is this is very very much an apple state. Yeah. Um, we know where to get them, and we know how to grow them. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golden apples for sure. Yeah, Honey Crisp is a very sweet. Mm -hmm. um, Fuji's got a little bit of tart in there. Cox orange. <laughs> oh, I've, I have. Whoa. I'm, we know about apples for yeah. sure. Wait, uh, Dover, what's Cosmic Crisp? Cos is this a real, is, is this even a real fruit? Did an alien being gift <laughs> you this? I'm just, you know. Uh, nobody, nobody's ever heard of Cosmic Crisp. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't get those Cosmics? It's a, no, it's a, it's a Candle Cove situation. Well, you never had a growing yeah. being. Gift you a precious fruit. Uh, Granny Smith, a vile mutation? <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, I was a little bit allergic to them. Really? And so it's like I can eat the apple, and then my throat just starts to like gently seal yeah. itself. But like not too much. Like, I still want to eat it just, apple. It just thickens. I, I, I just thought that was like a normal fruit thing. Yeah, yeah. All apples do that. That's but why everybody eats it. Exactly. It's just like everybody... It's like Everybody's they, like, I love no, apples. Uh, they just put up with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but Granny Smith could be very interesting. Um, because it's art, because it's inherently so tart. Yeah. So there's a cool note there. Cosmic Crisp is real. Huh. Yeah. Uh, but I like how, I like how dark... That it's is, coming. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Okay, so Honey Crisp and Granny Smith look like they're. No, we got this thing. We got a healthy one here. Cosmiccrisp.com. So this apple has its wow. own website. I mean, that's that's when you know you've made it as an apple. Yeah, exactly. Like that's <laughs> Shit. That's, that's the apex. Yeah. It's like if an apple 
can go on Wix.com and get a right. site <laughs> built. Like that's that's how we know this Apple's here to stay. This is an Apple that's looking out for its own yeah. best interests. Um, yeah, that's the Granny Smith. Okay. So yeah, so on the back, do we throw in a raisin option? Well, I, I'm not opposed to it. I love raisins. Here. Let's put it up to the vote. The Apple must have gotten seed funding. Oh, Cranston. Great stuff. Great stuff. Um, butter knife, Granny Smith plus cinnamon. I think that would be cool. Um, not in a lambic, but an ale. Oh yeah, not hard at all. That would be really neat in an ale. Get shit, put it in the boil. Mm -hmm. Like actually, just incorporate yeah. it. At the don't do it as a dry, but yeah. as a totally. right in front. Yep. Yeah, peel, core, because because then it'd be completely sterilized, yeah. right? Because you, you're not you're not you're not introducing anything into the second half of it. No. Oh, plums, yeah. Clues. They, they seem... Raisins are from the de what? Look, no clues. I, I Carrots are from the devil. I don't like a raisin. You know, like obviously in an oatmeal cookie, this is a criminal act. Um, really? Or in a what? or in granola, this is oh, this is. <laughs> I'm going to agree with Josh on this, this one. This is a this is a satanic infiltration. Josh, of cut pure, his mic. Ricky Gervais, this guy's ass. Of a this is a <laughs> this is a pure. Um, uh, a milk cookie is very pure, and to and introduce delicious I don't know who you are anymore. To introduce <laughs> such a demonic <laughs> seed <laughs> file, and you know that. Now, uh, the the people have spoken. No, here. What, what? No, wow! They they're, they're, they're on your side. They're, yeah, they they have heard my words, um, and they know that it's true. They know that it's true. Now, should we, what, how do you feel mm -hmm. about, obviously, about carrot as an addition? Oh, no, like, like I said, I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. All I know is that this channel has never steered us wrong. Not once. And that's why I feel safe. They did eat bugs. They did, eat, they did make me eat bugs, and they really enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Fuck it. Now, I'm talking about you no, know, we'll we'll figure out a, we'll figure out the best way to introduce them, right? So yeah, like in the garbage. Yeah, just just shred them right into right, the, trash. the trash. Um <clears throat> the only reason I ask is cuz it would give it an interesting it would give it an interesting character. Yeah. I'm not talking about a ton. I I, right? I am actually to be honest, I think it'd be kind of neat if they, we tried it. I don't I don't see a ones, problem with it. Uh they are the ones who are going to determine yeah. whether it goes in there. Listen, but the, carrots, the fun part of this show is trying crazy stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. But well, we can try things that yeah. somebody else trying to execute at scale or in a professional context Couldn't. wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. So we already got the apple in there. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a fresh, cool taste. Yeah. The carrot is just going to ground. It's just a different kind of sweet. It's yeah. going to ground it a little bit. Against the backdrop of the lambic yeast, I, I, I don't think I hate it. Basically, and oh, butter knife had a good um, what you got? like wet uh, turmeric. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. We, we have a we have a, a kombucha here often that has a um, there's a turmeric, a ginger turmeric yeah. type vibe in there, and I can I can get that. Yeah, from mouthfeel. yeah, totally. It's like a base spice. Wow, oh, this is a man. 50 50 split. Wow. It's just about 50-50. It is right on... It is now 50-50. Okay. So... I'm going to let I, this give, go... Give, give this more time, because this is actually a, a really oh, no, cool they're actually boat. doing it. Yeah, no, yeah, this a is a really neat boat. Parking lot. I'm going to... Ah! I'm going to call the police. I've got to call the police. <laughs> so Josh is in here with the what? No. It's like... Ah! Ah! You defy me again, Mr. Price. <laughs> Now it's balanced again. Now it's, it's <laughs> tied again. What is going on with this? If you haven't voted, vote one. Okay. 
This is hilarious. My, my hand is poised. Half a carrot? No, that's not. No, it's. God, one went up and then the other one went up also. What is this? What is this demonic behavior? I think what no is actually. No, now it's bound. Now it's the same again. Listen. This is a real horse Rise race. Rise my legion. <laughs> my <laughs> legions. Here. All right, here. I'm over this thing. I'm going to hit it in like 10 seconds. How about instead of a carrot, a little bit of ginger? Ooh. Fuck, that sounds really cool too. I, mean, I don't hate ginger either. Uh, well, All right, ginger I'm, sour ginger? Oh my gosh, and now it... Jesus! What, no, ran out on the other side? Betrayed. God, now at this... Now at this late hour. All right. My hand is, is now... <laughs> now it's balanced, and now it's the same again. God, hey. God, I think the end is now. Yeah. I'm with the raisins here. All right. This is great. The next time it changes is the real time. As soon as I see a shift of any kind, the poll is finished. Ha! <laughs> nice clues. I, I, it's not, this is, this is it. This is where we are. Oh, coriander, coriander is a horse, Proto, and you know that. What would Corey oh, it's what no. Oh. It's what no. It's what no. At long last. I know, you know. What a... What a but, battle. But, but that, that was a but battle. But that's the right choice. <laughs> like, I, I mean, we know it's the right choice because it's the choice that the chat made. But right. again, like, we have the proof in front of us every week. Like, we know that that's... That as much as I might have been, a, you know... Pro carrot? Drawn into that. Yeah. I, I was, I'm courtier. I was with a rough... <laughs> I was I was with a rough crowd. Yeah, hey, listen. They, they were passing a carrot around, you know, like it was a, it was out by the dumpsters. You know what I mean? Happens. During second lunch, right? Yeah. So, add honey. That's interesting. Jesus. Honey as a sweetener. Would it be too sweet at this point? I mean, we have the. Nah, we we, we did we we already balanced that out. Yeah. The sugars are already dealt with. Yeah. So, uh, what we do need. Is, is there more than one Lambic choice? Oh, yeah, for yeast? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look. We'll go, we'll go down the... Uh... So I know about the classics. Hey, let's hit this by labs. A giga yeast. Giga yeast. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. It's like that's like on the third disc. Right. It's like we all remember the battle against giga yeast. On that, that was on the uh, the original PlayStation. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go. Classic one. Oh, God, I can see that Brett on there. Produces a pie cherry like flavor sa and sourness. Here, here. So, let, so let me let me get all these notes while you're mm -hmm. in there live, right? Yep. This is the Brettanomyces lambiscus. Giggities, yeah. Here, so. Uh, Pie cherry? Yep, cherry pie. Uh, or, excuse me, pie cherry like flavor and sourness. Okay, I'm into that. What else you got? Here we go. Brettanomyces. Uh, Bruxellensis. Yes. I'm glad you could uh, figure that chestnut out. It produces a classic sweaty horse blanket character. I guess I know where the th sweaty. I'm gonna type the words. This is like when my dad would ask me to get the whip and switch. Plus like, the chair. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Sweaty, get out there and get the switch. Yeah. Sweaty horse blanket. <laughs> mm. All right. What else you got? There is another. Oh, is it, is another strain. Another strain that actually combines the two flavors: horse and cherry. Classic variety. Sweaty horse. Here. Here. So the um. Actually, this is a kind of a really neat vote. Yeah, Brooks says too is um, sweaty horse hair plus pie cherry. This is something I'm gonna drink. Or this we can. Um, I say last one, um, the classic Belgian lambic blend. 
So what's, what's the hook there? Um, it's going to be more fruity in flavor. Um, because it's, yeah, make sure of yeast and bacteria is. It's going to give them more wild uh, yeast flavor, kind of like um, Trappist ales. For sure. Which is probably the original derivation of mm -hmm. these, and then it just got funky in right. some of the strains, right. right? So here's four yeasts. Usually we don't drop that. Um, yeah, but I think it's cool. I mean, But there's a lot of... There's a lot of uh, precision here because mm -hmm. you have the you have the pie cherry, sweaty horse blanket, and then sweaty horse hair plus pie cherry. Wow! And then <laughs> fruit forward wild yeast. We we've we done a lot of you know we do a lot of Belgian yeah on the show, so you sort of know what we're talking about there. When we say wild. That's your bubble gum. Yeah, exactly. Uh, weird like tropical fruits almost. Mm -hmm. Not not like on the hop side, but more about the the. Texture and character mm -hmm. of the drink. Yep. Um, that's where you get your banana, clove, bubble gum, that kind of stuff. But it looks like they're like, listen, we love pie cherries and we love oh, to slutty horse. eat mm -hmm. hair. So, <laughs> you know, finally there's a yeast for us. Yeah, we're, you know, we, f we found that kink and there it is. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you know, you know, the rest of the day you got to do things for other people, but at night you can curl up with a <laughs> nice glossolensis too. Uh, horsehair drink with some fruit. Yeah, thick, salty funk plus fruit. Yeah, it's d delightful. It's this is not what we're looking for here. Is that where some get that slime thing from? God, I wonder. Well, I mean, the lambic when it you know when sour yeasts grow, mm. they do. I mean, if if you if it wasn't filtered properly, and I don't mean filtered like. For the drink, right? I don't mean filtered like you know pressure filtered or anything like that, like to clarify it. I just mean not having hair. Yeah. Not in having your... disgusting gummy hair mm. inside the drink, which I think is you know yeah. that's fine to do. Oh, PMR. Trust me, I saw the trailer for Kentucky Route Zero this morning. Uh, for sure, Kentucky Route Zero, maybe my favorite game of all time. Last chapter finally hits this month, but it's also coming out on Switch. It's really, God bless really, the Switch. it is really, yeah. really cool. Holy shit. Uh, no, dude, they, they want the, they want this pie thing and they're going to get it. Cool. Pie plus horse. All right. That was the pie plus the, yeah, that was, that was number two. That was yep, the top the one there. 31, 12. 31, 12. Very okay. cool. I think I'm loving it. So we, is, is it uh name, it's name game. It's name o'clock. Name o'clock. What do we got? <clears throat> Let's drop it. This is where there are no names. They all. You know. Well, hey, Marnie, you couldn't have finished it before because it wasn't done. It, 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 it's actually just now getting yeah. completed. Barely on Lambic. Yeah, there we Stalwart. go. Stalwart. Corey Amber. <laughs> Horsing around. Get that horse cherry. Horse apples. Barely a Lambic. Horse style beer type sour. Heads or tails. Nagging feeling. Jesus. Drop. May the horse be with wow. you. Wow. Horse, horse piss. piss. Honestly, I would love to see that on a bottle. Yeah. I'm putting horse piss in. I'm fine with that. Feel the horse. S.A., you're hooked on Wow, this. yeah, it's a Star Wars type of day. Hey, baby. My lambic pony. Ah! Hitch and hop. Back in the saddle. Yeah. When, whenever, I, whenever I see the names, I always Need try to picture for them steed. like... Um, that's Dan great. Greenman would do it. Like, yeah. like his font. Would yeah, be like right, yeah, thing. exactly. And if, if it looks good in that... Mode. Ah, skipping bail. <laughs> Mr. Ned Retention. Great, Cadmus. Fruit of the Hoof. Trots. Bad meat pie. Got the trots, Jesus. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, free rain. I like that. That's awesome. Dirty hay, well neglect. Man, this is this yeah. This is, this is he's in. Yeah, chomping at the bit. Hoof in a bottle. <laughs> Cult of ages. Jesus. Hey, little funk. Mm -hmm. Looking for a couple more blanket, blanket statement. statement. It's probably glue. Ooh. Nightmare. Nightmare. Hoof in mouth. <laughs> What? Oh. No. Yeah. Hoof in mouth is the last one. Here we go. Take a look at these unique flavors. 
damn proto form. Yeah, ice cold. Proto doesn't mince words. No. Fuck your sweat. <laughs> Spoiled for choice for sure, Graham, for sure. Not picking up for some reason. Oh, really? Oh, weird. Yeah. Here, let me, let, me, let me redo the poll. Maybe, maybe their back end got goosed? No. Let's try that again. I think you got goosed. Hmm. Really? Reload, oh, here, here. Let, reload the page? Let me refresh the page. Oh, yeah, it's screwed. I, I'm trying to hit finish poll. It's not doing it either. Oh. You're not connected to the server. I just refreshed the page. Did that? Oh, there we go. I finished it. Now you can try to put it up again. Oh, shit. Well, now it's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. All right, everybody. Shit. Put the names up again. Uh, shit, do you remember them? All six? No. Um, nothing when. 503s. Yeah. Yeah, this is Y20K. Yeah, horse piss is great. Yep, horse piss. That was one of them. Coriander sauce. You know that's not true. Blanket statement. Blanket statement, yep. <coughs> Skipping Bale, was that one? Or no. Need for Steed. I can't remember. Hoof and Mouth, that was one mm -hmm. of them. Oh. I think we got it. Try that flavor. Under Dogag, nice. There we go. Yeah, Cadmus Necromancy. God damn it. It's too late. Wow, that's. <clears throat> I don't know, that was pretty. Necromancy. That's pretty good. You goof. Pretty good. I support you 100%. Yeah, but horse piss is obviously very funny because you, you can just see it. You can just see it in those tall letters right on the label. Yeah. And the color, look. Listen, I mean, can, it's can you, solid. Can you, can, you, can you throw it over to the the preview on the laptop, Josh? Look at this. I mean, look, horse piss. Look, <laughs> I think we're close here. <laughs> I think it looks something like this. It's gonna be good. Well, yeah. I mean, that's three times anybody else, so we're good. Yeah, I think uh, we're there's good a there. bunch of great names, obviously, but ultimately we got to go with horse piss. Nice work, uh, channel. Excellent work, and obviously excellent work on Ebb and Flow as well. Yeah, it really that, has that beer. It really has been stunning, a brutal. It has been a brutal run uh, for the channel. It has been, I would say, I would say, since Ghostly took over, mm -hmm. and we've had a chance to really just like, deliver something week in, week out. There just hasn't been. I mean, wherever it got goofy, it got goofy because our eyes were bigger than our stomach. Like, let's say for the capsaicin on the peppers, that was pretty real. But the truth is, is that people, you brought it home, and it was a winner at home. Uh, depending on who you were. Yeah, who like, gets it, It yeah. worked. It worked. Um, anyway, uh, Jimmy Turks, the only the only one that I did not like and would not seek out... Oh, the Mullen Void was kind of weird. Oh, yeah, that was... Yeah. That was rough stuff. That was just because we used too much spice. We used too much spice, and the base... If the base had been a more robust, stronger beer, mm -hmm. that would have been a winner as yeah. well. The, the one with the spruce oil. Oh, yeah. I think that'd be different if we used actual spruce, but... I, th I think so too. It just, it, it's the way that a hop oil just becomes a part of the drink. It doesn't sit on top of the drink. Right. And then, but then again, any spruce beer I've had, it's more of a glass. novelty, right? It, you it, know? It really is. It's, it really is. But I think that we could do it even yeah. better. Uh, Gathered Channel, thank you so much uh, for rolling through another episode of Acquisitions Intoxicated in the Bag.